These first graders don't know what failure is because they shouldn't know what failure is. They get to practice a skill until they've mastered it, which is what we all get to do every day in our lives. Every day I'm practicing new things that I get to keep going until my boss is happy with it. So why aren't we doing that with our kids? We're, we want them to master every skill and every standard to the best of their ability. But it is, it's the beauty of Seesaw that no kid is a failure. They just get to keep trying until they get it. And that's what we want for every subject, for every kid, for every standard. When you're ready, this is going to click. You just need more practice. For these kids, it's reading, it's phonics, it's math, it's memorization, it's science, it's figuring things out, it's problem solving, it's creating. And they shouldn't get it on the first try because they've never done this before. We should be teaching them and then letting them try and try and try until they get it. And there's nothing wrong with trying 10 times or four times or one time. You can give a kid multiplication in the first grade and let them try. There's no failure. And I think that's, that's what every classroom should be. Kids should not be failing. You hear what the kids are, are thinking and, and their, their thought process, so you know exactly where to target the mistake. And then you can reteach that from that moment and it, it reframes everything. So when they're trying again, it's just a quick, oh, remember, it's like, oh, that's right. It's supposed to help you. It's supposed to save you time. It's supposed to be that obvious intuitive thing that you go to when you're not sure how to teach a concept or you're, you're not completely familiar or comfortable with the concept. You can go to Seesaw and it's your tool. 